Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Cream Soda by EXO. I've never heard this band. This is a first time viewing both of them and the music video. I believe they're a South Korean boy band that formed back in around 2011 or 2012 and have gone on to become complete superstars. So very excited to check this out. Guys, if I am enhancing your EXO experience by the end of this video, please consider joining my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. This is a reaction and analysis, so I will be pausing primarily to talk about vocal technique and other aspects of the music that I find particularly interesting and worth commenting on. Uh, as well, guys, if you're interested in any kind of musical lessons, virtual lessons, could be voice, could be piano, could be guitar, it doesn't matter. I'm now partnered with a company called TuneLark, and you can get 50% off your first virtual lesson in the description below, so check that out. Without further ado, let's check out Cream Soda by EXO. Gosh, there's a lot. There's a lot happening. Uh, see if the translations do do it justice. Sometimes they're on. Sometimes they're horrendous. So we'll see. I was not expecting that vibe of like acoustic guitar coming after this this little introduction they have, where it's like very synthy, and they have this what's called an upriser where it goes into that bing right at the end of the intro. I was expecting like something much more electronic based, and then it goes into like this acoustic guitar vibe. And then maybe when when the, that recent section just started, maybe it switches into more like a trap feel. But there's a lot going on. There, in these in these K-pop songs, sometimes there's a lot of like, just a lot happening. There's like a, so many elements happening. So something about these these K-pop songs is like the production value is absolutely unreal. Both the the audio production value and but the videos too. The videos are like I can't even I need to I need to do some research. I can't can't even imagine the budget on some of these videos. Like they're just so well produced and the choreography's there, right? And the voices are there. This is an unusually large group, if I'm not mistaken. There's like 10 members or something, <clears throat> which is big for any group outside of like a choir, uh, any kind of like big ensemble. But for a for a boy band, this is a this is a very large group. Like this is a lot of members. Um, so I'm interested to see how they kind of share the love, how they split up the solos, how they work the dance routines with a larger crew. Um, so yeah, what we did, we had this also kind of an interesting chord progression at the start with this acoustic guitar, and then we get into like basically 808 kicks on the floor, and we get into that more kind of produced sound that we're a little bit more used to in the K-pop sphere. <laughs> I love it. It's such a good vibe. And I love the brass, too. I love it that they've got this, this, uh, and they've got, do, 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 do. they've got the brass coming in, too. So you get like this huge bass kick, which is all bass frequency, right? The subwoofer. And then you get these brass instruments that have this, ah, to them. They have this big, like, growl to them. They're like still kind of bassy. They're still kind of low, but it's a totally different sound. It's a totally different sound quality. And that's pretty much, that's most of what's happening, right? The sub, the brass, and the percussion is mostly claps. It's mostly clapping happening. And then of course we have the solo vocal here. But, um, so actually there's not, there are only like four or five things happening, but it's a very full kind of 
encompassing sound. And they can all sing. Like a lot of what I talk about on this channel is singing and vocal technique. Um, there's, but often when I watch these K-pop videos, I find myself commenting more on the music production. They're all great singers, and if something particularly flaring pops up, I'll talk about it. But for the most part, I'm like, I'm trying to listen to everything happening in the background, and then I'm just like mesmerized by the choreography. These videos are tough. As a as a musical analyst, these videos are tough because there's so many things to talk about. So F4 there, and that's one. I'll just flag that note. They're singing at, you know, upper middle. You know, nothing super high yet. Upper middle range. So that's a lower voice, not a bass, but more like a baritone sound from this first singer in the court in the in this new section. I hesitate to say chorus. Do mm. so down to that A2. So that's most most definitely the lowest we've heard so far. Baritone, probably baritone. So up to E5 there above tenor high C, obviously in a very light kind of head voice falsetto. Uh, part of the voice, right? This is not big chest belting here, <clears throat> but just cool to hear that you know that much contrast, one voice to the next, right? We have this baritone, lower baritone singer, a similar singer in the second half, but it sounded like that second singer didn't didn't sound as rich on those low notes as the previous singer. And I'm just gonna say singer because I do not know all ten names of this group. Apologies. And then we have this singer that's clearly a tenor and operates really well in that high head voice. It's a, it's a very odd chord progression, actually. It's not a chord progression you hear very often. So the drums have obviously picked up, but the claps are still a very prominent feature in this song. Um, God, yeah, there's a lot going on. The choreography and the costumes and the video and all the elements and all the singers. Whoo! My brain is melting. Melting! That was a cool little down section where it was pretty much just that sub kick and vocals on top with a little bit of harmony echo happening. So lead vocal and then harmony and echoes kind of happening, panned out to the left and right ears. So that's the thing, man. These A lot of these K-pop songs, they they have so many different sections. Like it's not just verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, double chorus. It's like the all these little like micro sections that are all a little bit different. Sometimes the styles are completely different. Um, Again, that's another thing that like makes it really hard to keep track of everything.
Baby go d u m d u m 머릿속 s h a k i n 딱한 입에 난 이미 f r e e z i n Give me that yum yum 맞지 않는 taste 날 사로잡은 달콤한 yeah. 달콤해 yeah. 달콤해 So that section was very similar to what we heard previously, whereas the sub kick and I think the claps, solo vocal, and that brass, those brass instruments, maybe it could be, they don't, I don't know if they're, I can't tell if they're sampled or they're MIDI or they're, you would think in a group this big with this big of a budget, they got real brass players to play these parts, but not sure. Hard to say. There's a filter on them too, so it's no, we don't get the full sound of these brass instruments. <laughs> Baby, go dumb, dumb, 머릿속을 shaking. 딱한 입에 난 이미 freezing. Give me that yum, yum, 맞지 않는 taste. 날 사로잡은 달콤한 yeah, flavor. Yeah, 달콤해. Oh, oh, oh. 마치 bonbon dessert 한 모금 들이. 마신 순간 dumb, dumb before 날 자제하려. 시대지만 조절이 안 돼. 마보다 본능이 so fast. 이대로 멈출 수 없어. You know I don't get it. So that guy very clearly has a lower sitting voice than. Everyone else I've heard in the group so far, and really a more of a rap approach to this section, right? Is we're not getting a big sweeping melody here. We're not getting like a catchy jingle. It's much more speech-like. It's much more rap-like. <laughs> How low is he getting here? Oh, so it's not low. F sharp three. Bum bum. I wish he'd do it an octave down. That'd be crazy, right? Yeah, bum bum. So that a, a, a second singer also operating in that much higher falsetto. It looks that way from the way the video is shot, right? The lead, the kind of lead dancer in that moment was doing the lip syncing. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure a number of them have really good access to that kind of head, head voice falsetto. I think that was the first section without any bass parts. It was just the, it was like these synth chords happening, and then we had snaps, and then voice. We didn't have any bass, and we didn't have any drums. So that's just a great tool used by whoever arranged the song to create. Contrast section to section, right? If it's all, if it's if it's intense all the time, it not necessarily will, but it can get stale. It's great to have a section where there's a little bit less happening, like there is here. Just no no bass whatsoever, which is already something new, right? <laughs> So there's some there's some firework vocals. Let's hope we get some. Let's get some pitches up in here. Jump, jump. So D, tenor high D there, and then he does a a higher mix belt after that. But I think that D is in pure chest voice, just a big old belt. <laughs>
think up to E5, is that right? It's the first, hold on. Really strong mix belt on that E5 there. Solid. So this was okay. So it's is it seven seven members? I did a quick quick Google of the group uh, right before watching this, and um, I guess there are like they've 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 lost some members over time, right? So maybe maybe total they had they've had like ten or eleven, but right now they have seven, which would make more sense. Ten would be huge. Seven is still large. For a boy band, but makes more sense. So that that section was our kind of biggest section yeah right because we got the drums we got the bass we have all the voices and not only that but we have added voices doing like riffing and stuff over top of everything else that's happening so it's like it's it's literally all the elements that we've heard previously all come together in this final chorus to climax which is that's how you want to write a song <laughs> I need you, I need you, I need you. Like that part there, we didn't hear that in any previous chorus. It's an added element here. And a cool kind of down section to finish the song where they stripped away a lot of the elements. It's kind of like an outro, essentially. Oh my gosh, these videos, they're so amazing. They're so hard to choose what to talk about. I think that's the hardest thing. It's like I can sit and I can talk about everything, but it would take me three hours. <laughs> so it's hard to pick the kind of most exciting, most prominent parts of the mix of the song to kind of highlight for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy. Um, these videos feel more like, almost more like reaction based. Like I could, I don't want to do that. I don't like that kind of video where it's just a reaction. I think there's something valuable about, you know, the music education part of it. But some parts of these videos, I'm just like overwhelmed <laughs> with how much is happening. It kind of turns into more of a reaction. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. If I add it to your EXO experience, please consider joining my Patreon for as little as one dollar a month check out tune lark for 50 percent off any kind of virtual voice lesson guitar lesson everything they're a wonderful company i'm proud to be partners with them and i will see you all in the next video peace <laughs>